Model 4, Business Financing. Let's talk about business financing. You see, it's not just important to have a business. How do you fund a business? You see, financing, funding sounds like fueling. If you've got a car and you have a destination and you don't have fuel in it, you won't even go anywhere. You will not move anywhere. And so business financing becomes very important to entrepreneurial success. You see, there are several resources available for an entrepreneur in his business. And one of such resources is finance, among other resources such as people, technology, material strategy, and data. And in the time that we live in today, data is important. In this era, entrepreneurs rely on data to make informed decisions. They want to transform the society. They want to reform the society. An entrepreneur cannot transform or reform without being informed. And so it's important that he gets information. However, this information comes to him at a cost. And that's where finance becomes very important. You may have people working with you or working for you, but they must be compensated and rewarded. Money becomes very important. Technology, the enabler to the services and products that you offer to society, also becomes very important. However, without money, you cannot acquire. You may be inspired to do a product, but without money, you cannot acquire the machine to produce that product. So let's talk about finance, how you finance your business. I'll show you eight ways to source your business finance, but before then, let me ask you four questions. Number one, how much do you need? You know, don't tell me a lot of money, because if you say a lot of money, you will never get a lot of money. You've got to be very specific. Zig Ziglar said, don't be a wandering generality, rather be a meaningful specific. What exactly do you want? How much exactly do you want? Do you want a million dollars? Do you want 100 million dollars? Do you want 100 million naira? Or you want 100 million pounds? Be specific how much exactly you need to run your business. Number two, question. How much do you have? Now don't be discouraged. You may not have as much as you need. And that does not mean you will not get what you need. And that's why we're talking about business financing today. I'm here to help you. Number three, all the things that you require to get this business going, all the assets and all the resources that you need, you need to ask yourself and do an evaluation. How many of these assets do you really own and do you currently own? Do you own the skills that you require and the people? Do you need to hire anyone that has got the skill? Do you need the technology? If all you need is your laptop, do you have it? Do you need any more technology beyond it? You want to ask yourself, how many of these assets do I need? And how many of them do I have? And finally, number four question, do I have a network of people that I can lean on to support me in achieving this financial goal? And that's very important. You see, leverage, and I mean financial leverage, is about taking advantage, positive advantage of that, of people's strengths where you are currently weak. Now let me share with you the eight approaches to business financing. These eight approaches are foolproof. You may use a combination of them or maybe one or two, depending on how strong it is, and it can be very useful to you. Number one is your personal savings. You see, the man that cannot save has not got a seed of greatness in him. Savings come out of your earnings. So you must work to earn, and you must save to earn more. So your seed, the seed from your income, is your savings. And now that you have what a business requires, you want to start a business, you must check how much savings you have. You don't need to have all that you need. Your savings may never be able to cater for all of your financial needs. However, that's one approach to financing your business. You see, it's not important to start financing your business from yourself because before you can convince other people, they want to find out how many of it have you put in by yourself. Because if you have nothing in it, they are not sure you'll be spanning for it. 
Number two, look at your network. Your immediate network, family and friends. And if you look at this, I didn't say friends and family because family comes first before friends. And there's no magic even the dictionary recognizing that FA for family comes before FR for friends. So you look inward and talk to your dad, talk to your mom, talk to your siblings, talk to your family members. How much do you have? Because they're supposed to be your first set of believers. They're supposed to be your first set of cheerleaders. People who are ready to support you. People who are ready to help you to excel in your business. After that, then you can talk to your friends. How many of them also trust you? How many of them believe in what you've committed yourself to? And based on your antecedents and relationship with them, can they commit their resources to you? Number three is equity financing. You know, there are certain people who want to give you their money and put their money into your business. They want to invest. They're investors. Whether you call them angel investors or venture capitalists, they just want to bring forth their financial resources, their financial power, their financial muzzle into your business so you can increase your capacity to gain profit at the end of the day. And that's also another approach. Number four is ownership investment or stakeholding. The people who do this bring their finances so that they can be co-owners of the business with you. In equity financing, they only make their money available. They want to demand a profit or a reward on an investment. However, in ownership investment or stakeholding, what they want is a share of the business, maybe 10%, maybe 50%, maybe even 7%, depending on how much you're willing to let go. Number five is debt financing. Debt financing, as it speaks, talks about you borrowing, and you can borrow your money from two major sources. Government loans are available, and commercial loans are available. With government loans, there's a lot of benefit to reduce interest rate, prolong years of repayment. Commercial loans may be a little tough, but that's one approach. Debt financing, that is getting money from banks or from government, is another way to source finance for your business. Number six is crowdfunding. And this is relatively new these days, and we're beginning to see how much ground it is gaining. We have platforms such as kickstarter.com, indigo.com, that help many people. See, it's called crowdfunding because so many people come together and put in their little money, $5, $10, just to support the course that you have identified. And you can go on such platforms and find out if you can generate so much more resources for this business drive of yours. Number seven is asset financing. With asset financing, what you really need is this. You don't have the money, but you know the technology you need. You know the machines that you need. So you walk up to the man or the organization that owns these assets, and you say, well, can I get this building for a fee? You don't, almost, you don't pay anything almost immediately. You, don't, you commit to pay over a period of time, and you may not even want to own it. So you may just want to hire it while you use it to work. And that's asset financing. And finally, number eight are grants. There are many agencies and many donor agencies that make grants available. Now you see, these grants are targeted at certain purposes. Some of these foundations have health, healthcare provision as their focal point. And so any business that will be going into healthcare provision, they'll be ready to back it up with grants. Now grants are not repaid or are they accounted for? And that's why you can take advantage of them. So these data approaches will help you know how to manage or how to source your finances. And remember also, you must be very specific because the man that is not specific in determining what he wants cannot be prolific in providing the business service that he wants to render.